Hi, this is your boy Nig from EFF Easy Fun Fast, and we got a new unboxing for you today. And what we got for you today is the J Buds Air Sport True Wireless Headphones, True Wireless Headphones from J Lab. That's it. We're gonna unbox this, and we're gonna see what it looks like. And we're gonna go from there. On the box, as I can see, it already says 40 hours plus playtime. I'm gonna check that out. I'm gonna let you know if that's actually what it is. All right, so here we go. Here we go. Alright, we got those open, let's pull it out, see what we got. Nice, nice packaged. So, those are the headphones, and this is just like a plastic interior. Got your manual right there. All right. Guess cool. once you pull that tab, is it on both sides? You're gonna be able to use it. All right. You see? Yeah, it's on both sides of the headphones, and that's also the charger right there. Where is it? Ah, right here. Uh, right. What I noticed here is, as you can see, this charger connects directly to your laptop or your PC or into a USB into an um, adapter itself. Can't actually plug that directly to the plug. So this is not your normal type charger where it goes, where you plug a wire in it. You can actually directly plug it there and you plug that in. Or alternatively, you can plug that to your laptop or your PC to get the direct charge as you wish. That's so when you open it, see blinking, you got three blinkers, so that's gonna tell you when that's full anyway, if you're charging it. Close it, you can see the blinkers, I'm talking about one, two, three. So that's gonna be the full length. I'm gonna chart that up, see what it's like. We'll see how that connects and what it sounds like, and I'm gonna get back to you guys, all right? That's the j -Bots Airsport True Wireless Headphones. Here we go, let's have some fun. Here we go, we're gonna take those off. First one, and the second. And we're gonna check those out, see how it connects. So, this is it, after the unboxing. I actually tried that out for the last couple of weeks to see how it goes first and foremost it connects amazingly easy once you take it out of the box it connects you put it back in it goes back into charging mode i've opened the box when i close it you can see the glowing lights that shows the charging level and that's going to go off in a few and you're going to see just the blue lights showing that that's actually charging it's fully charged, so that should be off right now, right? And the longest I've used this so far, I've used it riding the bike continuously with all the 
apps on i had my music on i had gps obviously everything is on and i have my running apps on so it keeps you know keeping me in track with what i'm doing so it was fully used and the volume was high throughout the whole four hours of riding the bike and nothing lost it just kept on going that's supposed to last for actually 40 hours i haven't tried it that long but i've tried it for four hours we continue use perfect Put it on, it's quite easy. As you can see, the right side and screw it on. Off, on. Now put the left side also on. Same routine. Very comfortable. See that? Now, this got a bunch of stuff you can do with it with it being on. It's very easy. We're gonna go through it. Here's button functions. On the left side, when you tap once, that reduces the volume. When you press and you hold it, that's to backtrack the songs. And when you tap three times, that's for digital assistance, the equalizer. If you want to set the equalizer, then you just tap one, two, three, and then you go through the system. If you hold it, that backtracks the song. That's on the left. The instructions for the right headphones, the right side. When you tap that once, the volume goes up. When you double tap, that's gonna pause, that's gonna pause the music. When you press and hold the right side, that's gonna skip the music forward. When you get incoming calls, if you wanna answer the call, you tap once to answer the call. To reject the call, you tap twice to hang up. Okay? If you're gonna use just one hairpiece, which is what I end up using most of the time, especially if I'm going running with somebody, you wanna to talk to them, so you wanna make sure you can listen to them while you're jogging always use the right side so also what is real good about it it's the be aware audio function that means on your right hand side when you tap that three times when you're running and you have both of them on you can still hear everything around you your surroundings for your own safety cars or whatever you got your music you got everything on but that somehow functions that you still absorb all those other you know sounds around you for your safety. If you're jogging, riding a bike or whatever, you can use both, but it keeps you safe. I really do need the support. Thanks for watching the video. Please hit the notification button to get more videos so you get notified. Hit the like button and please do subscribe. We need all the support we can get.